Hello everyone, today we have a new guitar to review and this is the Shiji TLB Classic. <laughs> So about three or four months ago, I was able to get in touch with Dave over at Shiji Guitars in China, and I was wanting to do a review for them. So they were able to send this TLV Classic out to me about a week ago um, from the time that you're viewing this video. And for those of you who don't know, this is not my first go around with Shiji Guitars. Back in 2019, I purchased a STE model and that's their S-style guitar in an HSS setup, and it was, I guess you can say, sight unseen. I took a risk. I bought it off of Alibaba's website and didn't know what I was going to get, but all the reviews uh, on YouTube at the time were saying that these were great guitars. Now, when you think of a Chinese-made guitar, you might think of cheap parts um, built with poor quality, uh, not good playability, don't sound great, break easily, but these are not those kind of guitars. If you've ever seen, played Shiji guitars, you know they are high quality instruments. They are made in a small factory in China, and this factory only produces Shiji guitars, and the factory is full of luthiers. Uh, they actually have a video uh, walking you through their old uh, factory and it shows kind of their process for making guitars and it's nowhere near like a cheap OEM style guitar factory. This is a, a legit guitar. So when it arrived to me a week ago it came in a it was a styrofoam packaging which is kind of weird but they told me that was going to happen. They were testing a new shipping method to kind of be a little bit more economically friendly to uh, anyone who wanted to save a little bit of money on that end. So it's a custom molded styrofoam case and then it's uh, just taped really heavily and you'll see a picture of it. But when I got it, no dings at all. Um, it was super secure. Even the packaging uh, didn't have any dings in it, no dents, nothing. Um, but they have that option to be able to spend a little bit less on shipping but then if you want to do the other version so this is their classic model and if you want to do their pro version that comes with a soft shell case and most of you who know Shiji you've probably seen that case before so that version it's going to cost a little bit more because it's just extra material going into the packaging so that's going to be a little bit more expensive uh, just a disclaimer, this did not come with a soft shell case. It just came in the shipping um, material, and I have a extra gig bag lying around, so that's what this one is going in. But this guitar coming from them is about $799 US dollars, and I believe the shipping cost is right around, I want to say, $89. But then, again, if you go to the Pro model, it's a little bit more expensive. Now, before we go into the specs, uh, just kind of give you a little bit of uh, information on what differentiates a classic model from a pro model besides the gig bag. Uh, I would like you to think of the classic model as just being like their standard, like you can't um, upgrade any of the parts. Um, you basically get the option of the different fingerboard, so either rosewood or the roast maple and then the kind of color you want, and that's it. If you go to the Pro model, uh, you'll see something that says paid services on their website, and basically that's just saying uh, you can upgrade certain parts, like you can upgrade the, the 
tuning keys to some go to locking tuners. Uh, you can upgrade to stainless steel frets. You can even, I think you can upgrade pickups, pick guard, really anything. So that's kind of what's uh, different about those two models. So that's new for 2022. So let's get into some of the specs about this guitar and then we'll finish off with some uh, playing demos. So let's go ahead and start with the body of the guitar. This is a two-piece alder body and it's finished in their Daphne blue, which is great color. It's kind of one that uh, a lot of people gravitate towards when they think of Shiji because of Daryl Daryl Braun doing his video. Uh, this one has a comfort carve on the back, tummy carve, very nice. And then for those of you know who she, uh, Shiji guitars, they do this nice bevel on the neck pocket right here. And they have a nice branded uh, logo right here on the back plate. On the front, we have a Wilkinson bridge with compensated brass saddles, which is a nice touch. So you can get some uh, really good uh, intonation. We have a mint three ply pick guard. And these are their proprietary Shiji pickups. They are called Shiji CT1N uh, and NB. So obviously neck bridge. Your typical uh, Tele style T plate right here with the three way pickup selector. So neck, middle bridge, master volume, and master tone. And on their website, they list this as a rubber circuit. Don't know exactly what that means, but they have a wax circuit as well, which uh, Dave over at Shiji said was more of a vintage style. I don't know what that means. Let's move on to the neck. So the neck, it feels really good. Um, with my old STE, it was great. Uh, felt comfortable, but they listed it as a modern C and it felt more like a U or a D shape. So a lot of shoulders on the sides. This is a true C shape right here. It feels nice, uh, not very big at all. Um, it's a nice taper. Um, not sure exactly what the measurements are, but I would say it's kind of like a, a medium C. So it's not a super body at all. We have nickel medium frets, and these frets are finished perfectly. You'll see a picture, but on the sides, they're rounded over nicely, um, polished super well. So there's no, uh, none of that grabbing when you're like doing vibrato or bending. Uh, it's a two piece roasted maple neck. So what they do is um, they have the roasted maple neck on the back and then the fingerboard on front. So you're not going to see that, that cool flame skunk stripe that a lot of people associate with Shiji. Uh, we have pearl inlays on the front and the sides. We have a bone nut here and it's measuring out at 42 millimeters. We have a 12 inch radius, so that's super comfortable to play. Um, it's kind of where they, they're bringing in their modern influence into the guitar. We have the truss rod adjustment down here and it's a nice wheel uh, configuration. So you just use the tool that they give you and then you can adjust it. And by the way, when this guitar uh, came to me, it was set up pretty well. The only thing I did was I lowered a couple of the nut slots, just a tad, brought the action down just to my preference, but everything else was really good. Um, I don't even think I needed to adjust the, the neck at all. Uh, up here we have these uh, vintage style Wilkinson uh, tuners, which are super smooth. And on the Pro model, you can upgrade these if you want. We have one string tree right here, just to improve the tension behind the nut. And everything is satinized, so it feels super, super smooth. But let's get into some of the uh, tones and you can kind of see for yourself. Uh, but overall, really loving this guitar. And hopefully that comes through on the playing demos, how much I'm really enjoying this guitar. <laughs>
all, if you're looking for a guitar that's under $1,000, um, this is one to go for. Um, I would pair this up with U.S. Fenders for sure. Uh, just in terms of playability and attention to detail, like it's, it's really good. So if you have any questions about it, you can uh, drop a message in the comment section, but I'll also link all their info in the description box below. It looks like now they're doing direct sales from their website, which is nice. So you don't have to go through Alibaba anymore, but I hope you enjoyed the video and definitely check out Shiji Guitars. Bye.